Hello everyone, it's the Old School DM here. Uh, I unexpectedly am going to be making another video uh, related to the Coach House giveaway, a uh, full flat 3D model with interior uh, that I'm giving away when I reach 500 Instagram followers. First I wanted to say that um, the prize pool has been increased. Uh, misdirected Park, uh, Mis Misdirected Mark Productions, which is a branch of Encoded Designs, has contributed two of their PDFs, Dangerous Space Jail and The Legacy Weapon, uh, to the prize pool. So uh, the winner will also receive a free copy of those PDFs currently available on Drive Through RPG. Y you know that the places. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about alternate windows. Uh, methods of doing clear and semi-clear windows. <coughs> Please forgive my cold. One of the reasons you haven't heard from me in two weeks is I've been sick. Um, so, if you've been watching my previous windows, you know that the way I was doing windows uh, for my model pages was I'd have a front and a back, which is a reverse, and then I <coughs> cut out a template out of clear plastic. Very thin, clear plastic. Actually, this is this is the correct template. Uh, and then I would glue the paper to both sides of this. I had difficulty when I tried to use paper glue. It looked like it worked, but it didn't. Then <clears throat> I ended up, for the models you've seen until now, using spray glue. Uh, turns out it was Elmer's, but it doesn't really matter. It was spray glue that gave me much better contact and cohesion. Uh, but it made it foggy. So the the pictures you've seen of the window so far, despite the clear. Um, you can't really see through at the level of detail I really like, so I wanted to con consider other techniques, and I'm going to cover those right now. The key technique is to not cut the template out of plastic. This is the center sandwich layer, cut out of the same kind of cardstock it's made from. So you line it up and you drop it in there. But what's different about this template from the one I just showed you? You may have noticed there are big holes where there aren't in this one. And those holes are for the windows. So I have all these cut out, wonderful cut out window holes. When I put the template in place, you can see they're still exposed. And this template works for both sides. That's why there's some areas that are overcut, but that's okay. So now it's going to be paper glued to paper glued to paper to hold it together for construction. And it'll be nice and stiff. Won't be any problems of separation uh, because good paper glue, is good paper glue, uh, and then what I did was I used this on one of these, I used this as a cut up template, so I put uh, this, this paper on top of it and then I used a ballpoint pen to draw the outline and then cut out little pieces so that when I glued the front to the back I just have the right size glass pick and pieces, and they don't even have to glue them in. They can just sit there loose because they're going to be held together by the sandwich. That turned out really well. Um, I have one right here. I hope the camera here will show how clear it is uh, when I put a mini behind. Here's the mini I'm putting behind. and You can actually like see details on the mini, I think, depending on the focus. But um, let me see if I can get something a little more high contrast. Here we go, this guy's got some nice high contrast wings, and you can really make them out. Uh, if I get the lighting right, too. Anyway, so they got clear plastic, um, not, no glue at all for the frames, and I guess if you got in there, you might be able to shift the glass around a little bit. I don't know, you'd have to stick your fingers in there. But I'm going to do an even simpler technique today that doesn't require you to go out and buy fancy plastic. I uh, bought this at an art store. It's half millimeter thick. I really like it, but I wanted to try a new technique with you guys. <clears throat> so I'm going to show it to you. And all you need is something you already have in your house. Tape. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these holes where the windows go, and I'm literally just going to tape across them. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to, when I glue down, I'm not going to glue down at all. And then the tape is going to be taped to the tape, to its own face. And um, you'll get a, a window. Now this is, uh, I happen to have mystic tape. If you have the true clear tape, it's probably better. It tends to yellow in the sunlight. Actually, I, I, I would like that if it did that. So I'm just literally, literally taping over the window holes, which will give me a nice surface. I'm trying to 
not leave a gap here. Now this is a new experiment, and that's part of the whole hobby for me, is, is constantly trying new ways to do things. The upper window, we'll get some glue, get some tape. And the closer you can get to just the edges, the better. Um, tape on this. Now it's sticky on one side. I'm doing it against my top here. Um, I can do tape to tape. And I'm going to try that for this, just to see what happens. If it doesn't turn out great, well, that's, I can always print more and do it again. So this is going to have frosted window effect because of the tape I'm using. But it's that kind of, kind of disappears when you just push on it. So if I push the pieces together, I'll get a pretty interesting effect, I think. And uh, again, this won't interfere with the gluing process at all. Let's take a look in a second at how that looks. Oh, I, I don't like how much extra tape there is there. I think I'm going to just go with that. Let's take a look at what that effect is. So now I'm going to a frosty effect. Push it down. I mean, if this doesn't work out great, I'm going to give the the best clear looking one to the prize, but I'm making one for myself. I kind of like the the effect light has behind that. Now, that won't give you detail on the figure. You get kind of a shadowy effect with the figure. Um, but I'm going to do that with all the windows in this one, and I'm going to put it together real quick. <clears throat> So I highly recommend, if you're doing paper craft, that you experiment with techniques like this. In this case, I'm going to only tape over the place where I know windows are. It's like this big, large hole here. I don't need to tape the whole thing. I'm just going to tape right there. And you know what? I might only go with one side for this. I'm going to try a little bit of both, what happens. And then I will de-stick this for fun. And then this one has windows. should just do the entire space, I think. across will just fit right and if you've never learned this technique the one thing you can do if you want tape to be thinner is you tape it down to your surface take a knife and cut it thinner I'm just gonna find my knife classic exacto knife blade out and that looks to be about the right thickness I think uh, you, some of you may notice I flipped over my uh, self-healing mat. Uh, I don't know if you ever considered that before, but both sides are the same material. It's a nice clean mat, which gets nice after a while. I get too much stuff in there. Good, I like that. And so I've got a double thick one to see what that does. The upper ones are double thick, the lower ones are single thick. Again, if you had uh, truly transparent tape, I think it would work even better. If it yellows, that's great. Then you get yellowing windows. Um, and we'll see how this works as a technique. So, oh, one more thing I want to do to this. Actually, what I want to do is, uh, I, I've been playing around with experimenting, making sure. When I printed these, they're the exact same size. And what I found is assembly is a little easier if the inner piece is a little smaller so that the slots go in. So I'm going to cut a little bit off where there are slots. Oh, about an eighth of an inch. A millimeter ish. Just enough. It's on the inside where the slots are going to go. We're going to have to edge with the pen a little bit to, uh, to compensate for the newly whited uh, exposed edges. But I think it's going to be fine. Uh, the one I built to test this with the uh, inserted clear pieces, this worked nicely. Show, in fact, I'll show a finished picture of what that little edge looks like right here to set it down. So now if you look at the top of this edge, you'll notice that it pops out. So now when I take the roof tile, is this the right roof? No, that's the right roof. this is the right roof. When I want to tuck this in, when I'm constructing it, it's a lot easier to catch because like that, right? It just slides right in because now there's a guide. So that's what I'm doing there. I wish I'd done that before, but again, as you build these things, you figure out these techniques. So I took a little bit off to do that. 
Um, I took it off the inside, so what I'm going to do is uh, get my edging pen. Again, I use Tombow N57. It's a good generic warm gray. And I'm just going to re-edge that right there. So now, when it if it shows... Oh, actually, I think the big side's going to show. I need to trim that. So the... Where's the outside of this? Right here. Oh, I already did. This has already been Tombowed along this edge and this edge here, so we'll be good. So now when I line this up, when I glue it down, now the same edge will show. And so when we tuck it in, for the because the sandwich layer is holding it apart, it'll be a lot easier to use. All right, so here I've got my, my, my window thing, uh, and I'm going to glue it up. Use this as the gluing template, because that's where the glue is. You don't want to glue anywhere where there's a hole. So I'm going to go around and do my glue thing. What I like about this technique is you don't even need to, uh, to time lapse it. You can do it in real time, which I really like. I like showing how quick you can do it. It's, now, you, in order to get this quick, you have to get your templates right. You have to cut everything out, right, and cut out the cutting part. So, and all the experimentation that led me here. Um, as I showed before, I like to use a uh, color shaper which has got rubber tip. It's not really a brush, it looks like a brush. And I can spread my glue around and I end up making a nice adhesive surface. And you can push it right out to the edge, which gives you a lot of surface area for gluing. Um, I have tried gluing both sides at once and it's just too messy to handle, so I'll do it two pieces, two times. But it's easier to know where your glue goes and it doesn't go. Um, okay, I think I'm good. And this is the outside, right? That is the outside. Good news is since I have that little template where I drew everything, it should be really easy to line up. Again, I can use the tabs themselves to push things in the right direction. Fortunately, this doesn't have to be that precise. You can always trim it. I always do. So that first half is in. Here's my little rollerball thing I keep forgetting the name of. I'm sorry. I know one of you told me what it is. I keep forgetting. It's used for inking. Now, that's in. And uh, we'll definitely get an idea of what, the, what it looks like uh, now that uh, it's there. What the figure looks like. Like I said, it has a kind of shadowy effect instead of a detail-y effect, which is kind of cool. I like it. it feels a little bit like those uh, Christmas train sets my grandma used to have, where they had little lit-up buildings. Uh, um, I will try this again uh, with some truly transparent tape, because I think it'll work great. The adhesive on that is well hidden. So now I'm gluing again, focusing on getting the glue mostly and almost exclusively on the sandwich piece here. So I can put the top on, the inside on. <clears throat> um, I'm going to do an exception here. I'm going to put a little glue between the two windows there just for tightness. Over here where I have um, a big spot where there is no window, but there's a hole, I'm going to go ahead and let that get glued through. That's fine. But I don't have to put glue anywhere near the windows, which is nice. I don't have to worry about it. Um, well, don't forget to spread it out first, otherwise I won't get good contact with the edges. The most important thing when spreading your glue is get it to the edges. I think it took me a long time to realize that the edge was the most important. That's the place where it's most likely to separate when you do sandwiched paper. So, all the way to the edges. The centers don't matter quite so much if that's even or whatever. I just mostly try to get the glop out. Okay. Done. This guy's a little trickier to place now because it needs to come in a little ways, right? So I'm positioning it, being sensitive to the slot issues. Um, but it's looking pretty good. I like it. Since I didn't edge the sandwich piece, you'll see little bits of white here, which are the sandwich showing up where it's supposed to. 
which is great. <laughs> it means I did it right. So now I've made a wall with scotch tape for windows. It was kind of fun and fast and cheap. No special tools. Um, I didn't get the slot quite as much as I'd like there. Oh well, that one's good. And re edging wherever the sandwich layer might be showing up. So now we can see through the windows here. Mm -hmm. We all have. Uh, you can see through, which is pretty cool. But it's uh, in this case because I used frosty tape. It's frosty windows. I really like how that turned out and how easy that was. And that's going between a couple of books here. Flattening. That's done. Now. Uh, I don't think I'm going to stay on the whole time. I like to keep it short. I'll see if there are any questions there. I don't see any questions. Um, here's the same thing I'm going to be doing for this wall. Uh, basically, I have a hole for each window. You know, I just want to keep the video short because I'm just going to repeat the technique over and over. But uh, I'll give the winner the choice of uh, which window style they want. Um, the truly clear, which I think is the one they'll probably want, or the... Uh, or the opaque windows. Um, doo -doo -doo. And the garage as well. The garage template, so it's almost the same as the clear one. Now you can see there's only this much clear, only this tiny bit, and therefore it doesn't have any uh, effect on the strength. So these pieces with the uh, paper sandwiches should be way stronger uh, and less likely to separate. Um, so that's it for now. Uh, remember, I'm looking for 500 followers here on Instagram. <clears throat> um, when I reach 500, there will be a drawing. I'll, there's this cool thing that lets me extract all the names of all the things, and I will draw from all the names of all my followers. Um, I am considering, um, if I have problems getting those followers, uh, other techniques that you might have seen. If you've seen techniques for encouraging more people to sign up, I might give people multiple chances. If, if, if you want to share what those techniques are, um, I've heard some people like, you know, leave a comment on this thing or hashtag that thing or something like that. If you have any specific suggestions, please leave them as a comment um, on uh, this video when it, when it comes out uh, on the main Instagram. Uh, and I will consider them um, looking for the ways best to get my videos and, and uh, my Instagram account in front of the people who are really interested in this stuff. Until then, uh, until next time I see you, keep making stuff out of paper and uh, post your pictures on Instagram. You, if you didn't, don't post it, didn't happen. Catch you later. Bye.